Hello friends. Welcome to the channel. Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about synchronous motor and its working principle. At first, what is a synchronous motor? A synchronous motor is an most widely used type of AC motor. An AC motor, which runs at constant speed, is called as synchronous motor. It generates an RMF, which is running at constant speed. It is a device which converts electric electrical energy into mechanical energy. It is a self-excited motor. It does not need any external starters to start the motor, like single phase induction motor. Therefore, an synchronous motor is known as constant speed motor. Let us see the construction of a synchronous motor. Similar to an construction of alternator. There will be the construction of synchronous motor. Because of both are being the synchronous machines. The synchronous motor construction is basically similar to an rotating field type alternator. It mainly consists of two parts. Stator and rotor. Stator consists of three phase star or delta connected winding. This winding is excited by a three phase AC supply. The stationary or stator winding is known as armature winding. The construction of rotor of a synchronous motor can be of two types. Salient type or non-salient type. Practically, most of the synchronous motors uses salient pole type construction. In synchronous motor, rotor winding is known as field winding. The winding of the rotor is excited by a separate DC supply through slip rings. Let us see the working principle of synchronous motor. Synchronous motor works on the principle of magnetic locking. That is, when two unlike poles are brought near to each other. If the magnets are strong, there exists a tremendous force of attraction between these poles. In such condition, the two magnets are said to be magnetically locked. If now, any one of the magnet rotates, the other one also rotates in the same direction. With the same speed due to force of attraction. That is due to magnetic locking condition. So to have the magnetic locking condition, there must be exist two unlike poles. And magnetic axis of the two poles must be brought very close to each other. Let us see this magnetic locking condition in case of synchronous motor. Consider a three-phase synchronous motor whose stator is wound for two poles. Here, the magnetic fields are produced by both field and armature windings. The armature winding is fed by the three-phase AC supply. An A-DC supply is given to the field winding placed, winding placed on the rotor. When the AC supply is given to the armature winding, it generates an magnetic field rotating at an speed known as synchronous speed. This magnetic field produced by the stator winding is known as rotating magnetic field. The synchronous speed of the stator magnetic field depends upon the supply frequency and the number of poles for which the stator winding is wound. If the frequency of the supply is given by F and the number of poles is given by P. Then, the synchronous speed of the rotating magnetic field is given by 120 F by P. Hence, synchronous motor rotates at one and only speed that is synchronous speed. But this all depends on the existence of magnetic locking between stator and rotor poles. But practically, this is not possible for stator poles to pull the rotor poles from their stationary position into magnetic locking condition. Hence, synchronous motor are not an self-starting motor. Let us check out briefly why synchronous motors are not an self-starting motors. Here, let us assume the stator poles as N1 and S1, which are rotating at synchronous speed NS. The direction of rotating magnetic field says in clockwise. When the fields when the field winding is excited by a DC supply, it also produces two poles. 
let the rotor to be of salient pole type. The poles of the rotor are N2 and S2. Now, when the supply is given, the stator poles N1 and S1 is rotating at synchronous speed. And at starting, the rotor poles N2 and S2 are at stationary. Here, when the two unlike poles N1 and S2 or N2 and S1 are brought near each other, the magnetic locking may established between stator and rotor poles. As the stator poles are rotating, due to magnetic locking, rotor will also rotate with stator in the same direction with same speed as the stator poles. Let us consider an instant where two stator poles are at position. Where the stator magnetic axis lies vertical along A and B. At this position, rotor poles are arbitrarily positioned and are at stationary. Now, the two unlike poles tries to attract each other. Due to this, rotor will intended to an instantaneous torque in anticlockwise direction. And the rotor poles tries to rotate in anticlockwise direction within speed of stator rotating magnetic field. That is, at synchronous speed. But, due to inertia of the rotor, before it starts rotating in anticlockwise direction, the stator poles will change their po next half cycle of the supply. Consider an another instant for next half cycle of the supply. At this instant, the stator poles interchange their positions. That is, N1 becomes S1 and S1 becomes N1. Again, due to the magnetic locking condition between two unlike, po unlike poles of stator and rotor, the rotor experiences a torque in clockwise direction. That is, in the direction of rotating magnetic field. And the rotor tries to rotate in the direction of rotating magnetic field. But before it happens, stator poles again changes their position for the next half cycle of the supply. This makes the rotor to stop its rotation in clockwise direction and hence remains in stationary position. Now here we have seen that at instant 1 the torque produced on the rotor is in anticlockwise direction. But at instant 2 the torque produced on the rotor is in clockwise direction. Therefore for every cycle of the supply the average torque produced on the rotor is zero. From the two instants, we have seen that the rotor poles are placed arbitrarily to the stator poles. But here, everyone can get and question that what will happen if by chance the rotor poles placed in such a position that the two unlike poles of, ro poles of rotor and stator are placed facing each other. Here, due to the large inertia of the rotor, the rotor poles fails to rotate with the stator poles. Hence, again, there will be an reversing in stator poles before the rotor starts. This again makes the, the difference in position of magnetic axis. And rotor gets subjected to quick reversing of the torque. This makes the rotor to remain in its initial position only. This happens mainly because the speed of rotating magnetic field of the stator is very fast that it cannot rotate the rotor from its initial position. That is due to the inertia of the rotor. So under any case whatever may be the starting position of the rotor, synchronous motor is not self-starting. Therefore an external arrangement or an special construction of motor is needed to start the motor. The different methods that can be used to start the synchronous motor are discussed in the next video. Thank you for watching video. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.